Let's play the outer world. Okay, so we're at the arms building. As you can see, there's although there's hands on this building, I don't know about arms. Uh, we gotta find some key. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be looking for this. Um, right, there's a ladder here. Let's go up here. You never know. We might be lucky. Okay, we're just walking around here. Oops. Right, so this is on top of the arms. Uh, let's go across the plank. I presume there's uh, no way down. <laughs> well, there is a way down, but we don't want to care about that one. Oh, look, they finally decided to come up. Oh, great, I can't get up there now. Well, that's not nice. Who's in my way? Well, I might have known, really. Okay, let's have a look. Nothing and nothing and nothing. Wait a minute, it's a green. Oh, look. Do you think that could be the thing? It's a body. It could possibly have the key. I can't see. Uh, they're all dead, aren't they? Already? Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Um, I gotta get my way back round here again. Oh, get out of the way! Come on. Um, we haven't pushed you off for ages, you know that, don't you? Come here. Push. It's your turn to get pushed off. <laughs> Oops. Oh, bye. Ah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh dear, okay. She'll never speak to me again. Right, so he's down here. Uh, well, very likely. Let's get down the ladder. Now, are we going to get down from it? <laughs> Will it hurt me if I drop? What about off the edge of there? Okay, that didn't hurt one little bit. Right, so let's go and have a look at the uh, bugger lugs over here. He's a pretty colour. He's got something flapping. Okay. Explosions. Did we pass this bloke? Because I, I don't remember him here. Arms building key. We will take it all. Bolt with his name. We've got the key. Now then. Uh, I just heard something coming. I don't know whether I heard that properly. Let's get in here. Because this is the one in it. Went it upstairs? Yeah, I think it was upstairs. Let's get over this crap. Yeah, it's up here. Okay. So, open with <laughs> arms. Ah, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was going to die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Hux? Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh... You're traveling with someone. Never mind. Hmm. Uh, normally, when you help someone, they give you something for their trouble. Um. What? I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Hmm. No, I won't pay the bills. Great not, mister. Gotta pack light if I'm gonna run away from monsters. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't work for me. Okay. <clears throat> right. Oh, yeah, yeah, just beat it. Go. Yes, sir. Okay, so. While she's out of the picture, at least we can raid the placed. The placed? Oh, good. We'll take some of that and we'll have some of them. We will take all them as well. There's nothing in those. 
Take that, get that. Anything else? Pick up them. Oh, no, lots of ammo. Which is good. We probably can't do much without ammo. Why are they on the floor? <laughs> Bunch of idiots. Okay. Let's get up. Alright, lots of rubbish. And uh, what did we come here for? I don't right. Well, has that changed? Because get out of the way, girlies. Let's go and see where that's leading us. Wait, why didn't I pick that up? I'm sure I did. Wait, why is there more stuff? Hmm. That seems very weird. Bottle, tin of beans. More crap. Another one of them. Okay. And oh, you know, if you don't line up, you don't bloody see them. That's for sure. Oh no, that's the green thing. What was that? Oh, there you are. Okay, let's go. Let's go and find out what that green thing's all about now. We've definitely taken everything in here. Will you stop making that bloody noise? I don't think you're falling all over the place. Hey, I could have sworn I went through this. Obviously not. Okay. We did the terminal. Uh, there's nothing on the floor. And nothing in there. So, let's find out where this green thing is taking me. It's in that direction. Oh, back to Sonjar. Wait, there's more crap. Okay, so it's back to Sonjar. All right, well, he is that away. So what is this away? Let's have a look up here. <laughs> How to get in trouble. There do be a thingy there, and he do be looking at me. Okay, so, um, I think this is the way back to town. Let me just check the map a minute. Okay, well, uh, it seems the bridge is quicker this way. So we're going to go and do that. Let's just uh, leg it along here. Uh, we came up this way, didn't we? But we didn't come down through the main road. Let's just uh, make sure what's down here. Hello. Perhaps we did come this way, but it wasn't very peaceably. Um, nope, can't see nothing. Oh, wait a minute. There's a red line. I can see you. Okay, uh, <laughs> That's the last of them. that was the last of them, was it? That's good. Okay, so we, <laughs> we're heading back this way, let's pick that up as well. Anybody, uh, like I said, we didn't come down this road, so... <laughs> um, there could be, like, bits and pieces that I missed. Do you have a look around the back? Well, I like getting in trouble. Okay, so we can't get... Ooh, I don't know, can we? 
Let's have a look around the corner. Well, I don't know. Seems fairly straightforward. Nothing seems to be in the way. And there's the damn road. Okay, well, we'll have a quick peek over here again. What's that? What are you? Can I have you? I found one. <laughs> I'm going to claim it. <laughs> it's a bit of a rust bucket. Oh well. Let's see what's down here. Nothing. Okay. No, I didn't mean that one, I meant that one. Alright. Let's go and see what Sanjar has to say. I mean, I don't know where I'm supposed to have the get up. I'm just checking if it was up or down. Okay, so... We... Are going to check down this end. No, not that one, I keep doing that. Can't seem to get over that. Uh, I don't want to jump over there. Okay, let's get indoors. So we're now going to go in, finish off this particular job, and see what gives. Okay, game saved. Let's go and see the. Uh, oh, I keep doing the same bloody pressing the wrong button here. Um. Uh, is he in here or is he in that one? Where is he? He seems to be around the corner. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Here he is. He's in here. Let's go and see what gives. Hello, mate. Hello, little matis. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Who's Sebastian? <laughs> okay, cool your jets. Hello. You should know you're getting excellent reviews from across the company. I am. What can I do for you? Well, how do you know? <laughs> I found your review. Uh, I have questions about MS. No, that one. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Well, <laughs> sorry. It was already open. You could have told me what was on us. Uh, yes, but then you would have known. This no, what? Been I didn't read it anyway. The great shame of my career. <coughs> I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, <laughs> I was a joke to them. All right. <laughs> so you're a joke now. <laughs> Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. Okay. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. <laughs> okay. Did it? <laughs> you're insane. No, I am a company man. <laughs> no, you're insane, mate. Who cares? In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you wait for me, aren't you? And you've made it work. That's more than anyone. Well, when you put it that way... Please, I, I can't think about this right now. Celia, schedule 30 minutes of inconsolable weeping later today. Inconsolable weeping scheduled. Now, was there something else you need? It wasn't what I need. It's what you need. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. <laughs> Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? No. Nope. Corporations have been toppled with less. Okay. Well, I'm looking at all the... Well, okay. You, you made it sound like you were sending me after a weapon. But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, oh. much as Graham and his followers would like to think. 
but rather with meticulous documentation. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in so it's all a pen. of Halcyon. Well, there's that. False stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's a pen. It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. Okay. What does the bolt 52? It's a 52. I could have sworn it was 32. How charmingly quaint. But this is an electronic form. No ink need be wasted. It's an expression, sir? Well, oh. it really shouldn't be. Electronic data is much easier to disseminate. But I digress. Okay. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Okay. Uh, you make it sound so simple. Let me guess, a paperweight. See, that doesn't even make sense. This is an electronic form. You don't need paperweights. Tell <laughs> me the point, sir. <laughs> uh, but tell me, what do you... <laughs> If you could kill Raps, I'll get away. Or me. Perhaps you should explain the second part of the plan, sir. Oh, there's a second part. I have reason part. to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Oh. Illegally and in secret. Okay. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, mm. I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Okay. Uh, <sighs> that one. You really think so? <laughs> I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite it's some time. Happy to be a sly old fox. Capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Catherine. Baldwin. Perhaps okay. You could be convinced to tell you where they are. Oh, well, I could shoot her. I know how to make people talk. Sounds like you know her well enough yourself. <laughs> oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of us. She grab your own ass. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? <laughs> leave her in one piece. Hmm. Watch it with the you people. Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Yeah, Once please. you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Okay. Or someone working there. That would do it. All right, then. Can I go now? Because <laughs> you infiltrate a secret corporation base and kidnap the staff. Easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Gee. <laughs> I've got to go. Okay. Now, <laughs> are we all clear on that? Let's just check the jobs. Well, first of all, before, while I check the jobs, I'm going to sell up here and then check the jobs. Okay, so all the jobs, except for one at the moment, Involve going outside the gate. So we're going to do the one inside the gate, which is taking some flowers, apparently. I don't know where we get some, where are we going to get flowers from, I don't know. So we're going to wander over here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or Thanks. maybe some canid toenails? No, I don't think so. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? Mostly fresh. Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen. But I couldn't uh. find a single sack on any of them. I must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Manipillers ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. <laughs> At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. Uh. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rat glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Dubai. Um, let's see what you have. Uh, why would I want any of that? Okay. I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. <laughs> Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years. Okay. He always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Oh, no. 
I bet you know who he's talking about. Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. Oh, not the community center. It was a grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. Okay. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a manta queen for the last display. What? He left the veil, gosh, years ago. Oh. He came to Stellar Bay years ago. That long? Just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta queens, especially. Okay. I kept telling him he was a fool for chasing Manta Queen tail. Anyone looking to get familiar with a queen is liable to become the bitch's supper. Oh my. Well, I hope he's alright. Haven't seen him in a while. Oh great. <laughs> Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Well, well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett, but I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Oh God, I got Captain, job. Can we look for him? Yeah, it's see, I know I'd end up with another damn job. Oh gosh. Tell you what, okay. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Okay. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Yeah, yeah. Sure, I <laughs> can keep an eye. If he's a friend of poverty, I suppose I ought to. Thanks, Captain. Okay. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Oh, great. Past the ruins? That's Manta territory, all right. My professional opinion is that we leave that idiot to his well-deserved fate. No offense. Last Manta Queen I saw was in the <sighs> wilds out that away. Okay. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. Oh, he's <laughs> Let's see what you have. Let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that wrapped on acid is working out. Wrapped on acid. I hope oh, it's working grief. okay because no one I else this really was seems interested in this. Give me flowers or something. Um. Nice of you to say. I like her too. Okay. And I gotta admire anyone with her passion for canid hides. But you don't have to butter me up. <laughs> oh, okay. Since you've got something on, maybe you should let her take you out. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? <laughs> oh, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> She's smitten with you. He's smiling. Ah. She's no? oh, smitten. Who? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Oh, great. Nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. If you give her on one. On account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Okay. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Okay. Give yourself a chance. I think I'll just get some points. That's okay. 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 I'll do it. I'll skip us. Oh, we'll so that's the job nice. done. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. <sighs> that's the thing, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. <laughs> so happy. I want my money. <laughs> okay. So. Let's just check my jobs. Right, so the job is to return to Celia and tell her she's going out with an idiot. <laughs> if I can remember. Oh, she's in here, isn't she? Yeah, so that's... <laughs> I don't know. Is she going to give me money? Or is she going to give me bloody... Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay, good news. <laughs> what, do you, what do you see in this guy? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this... Quiet intensity, you know? Like no. there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Uh, stuff going on inside his head, Plus, I doubt he's it. He's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Oh crap, I think I've asked this. You really want to be with someone you can't talk to? That's all I need to know. Okay. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. What? <laughs> Uh, okay. Sorry, 
Sometimes I get carried away. Uh, he said he got a date. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or no. Or like he was just agreeing to it? <laughs> uh. Was he like, yay, a date with Celia? I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure. I got a trophy. Yay. <laughs> I don't know why. He likes Celia. Just don't ask him for any discounts. Look, you've got your chance. Have fun and don't overthink it. Oh, I will. Now I've just got to figure out which jumpsuit I'm wearing and how I'm fixing my hair. Or maybe I should go with a casual look? <laughs> ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, back to look. Thank you. Uh, bit cartridges. 300. She paid me for doing that. <laughs> right. Let us find out what other job is in the pot. Okay, so it doesn't actually matter which one I'm doing now because they're all outside the gate. Let's just get out the gate again and get this thing resaved so that I know where I am. These gates take ages to open when it reloads. It's a bloody shame, really. All right, so let's get out here. Right, so it seems the nearest job is going to be the family matter or something like that. Um, it was out this gate, but I seem to have lost. It's over there. Tucker. Okay. Let's go over that way. Um, looking out for any red dots. I don't know whether they resurrect them or not. I uh, can't see anything moving, so... Uh, does that mean we cut up through that hillside, or is it around the hillside? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I haven't a bloody clue. So we go this way. Uh, I don't know whether we can get up here. Let's have a quick shifty up here anyway. There's a tunnel. Ooh, tunnel. Okay. Now he is... 300 odd bloody miles away and I expect to be attacked obviously well nothing yet so do we follow the path or I guess we follow the path. Let's go around the path. Um, point is, have a road that don't go anywhere. Besides, I expect they want us to go this way because it'd be more dangerous. <laughs> Cheers. There's nothing coming up here. Uh, I've lost the point. Oh, there's the pointer. Uh, buildings. Don't know. Should I cut through this? Oh, now you mention it. I got a bullet. Okay. We gotta uh, check out the bodies. Well, uh, where were they? I don't know. <laughs> These bloody things are hard to find. Okay, let's get down here. We were going one way or the other, but I can't remember where we're going now. Um, there's no pink marker. Oh, no, wait. There's. Any grass up here? Where are they? Hmm. What do you reckon? Can't see anything. Oh, right there. What is it? Not sure, but it looks bloody ugly. <laughs> okay, then he's the biggest. 
So I guess we're gonna hit him first, are we? Was it? That's how it's done, right. Well now I know. <laughs> so, nobody else? No one else showing up. Uh, there's a shop. We take that. Can we stand up now? Where's the uh, three bodies? Oh, here's one. Mm hmm third one was over here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's another one. Oh, who are you? I can have lost wherever, wherever they are. I don't know. But let's see. It looks like... oh crap. I don't know. That don't make sense. Let's go in here. Come in. Oh, I don't bother. Then. Well, let's see. We'll have that, we'll have that, and that. And nothing from out there, obviously, because there's nothing. Else. There's an Adreno in there, which is good. Um, we just did that one. We'll take that. We'll have the bottle. Hmm. Ah, keep it in the safe. Okay, well, there's nothing a lot in here then. Oh, missed that one. Nearly. Hello. <laughs> okay. What's that? I forgot about here. Alright, that looks about it. Let's get on. So the green marker is down there. Wait, it's another box. Uh, the green marker is down there somewhere. Uh, down that path. Okay, that looks fun. Alright, well we're not going swimming. <laughs> you never know. Alright, what is coming up? There's a road and there's a fire. Ooh, who lit a fire? Well, a bit of a strange place to leave things, wasn't it? Wait, he's got the food cooking. <laughs> well, there you go. He's been eating sprats. Cooked to a crisp, I would have said. Pick up reptidon meat. Okay. If you insist. Now then. Okay, there's still everything down there. That was nice. Someone left a campfire going. What's down here? Not a bloody clue. A puddle. 
and a dark hole and a little monster somewhere over there there it is oh wait it's a marauder a marauder ringleader well, well look how it follows it <laughs> okay let's uh, get down a bit just him on his own is it Right, so he's a marauder lookout. Oh, wait. It's not the same bloke, is it? Load the gun ready. How was that supposed to be anyway? Okay, so I died, but I'll have to do till next time anyway. See you later.